All right, my friends, in this lesson, we're going to look at one more feature of the Codex extension, and that is the ability to delegate tasks from your local project to Codex Cloud. So we can do that by coming down here and changing this option from local to run in the cloud. You can also select a cloud environment to fire this task in as well if you have multiple environments set up for different repos. So I've been pushing all my local changes up to the remote repo throughout this course, and that means the main branch on the remote is up to date and it incorporates all my changes. However, if you have local changes to your repo that you want Codex Cloud to use as well, you can tell it to do that by selecting your local branch to work from. Anyway, now I'd like to fire off a new task to run remotely on Codex so I can open a PR directly later from it. But I want to do that from VS Code, so I'm not having to switch to a browser to set it off. So then we can just say something like, can you implement a responsive drop-down navbar for mobile screens and then we can hit enter and when we do that codex is going to send that task off to the cloud where it can run remotely in an isolated container so let's go and have a look what it's done all right then so now we can see that task is down here and it's completed because i gave it just a couple of minutes to run before i started recording again so if we click on this task we should be able to see the code changes it made to the various files and normally i would take a good look at these changes first before opening a pr for them but right now i'm just going to hit the create pr button to get the ball rolling then when it's created that pull request we should be able to click the button again to go and view it so then from here we could review the code and merge it if we're happy, but I'm just going to switch back to VS Code to preview the changes first of all. So then if we click on this cloud task from inside the Codex panel in VS Code, we can actually see that same summary of changes from here as well. So it's brought down that information from Codex Cloud and we can see it locally in the project, including the actual code changes as well, which we can view. And actually, you can also click on this button right here to apply the changes to your local workspace. But just be aware that it's going to apply those changes to whatever branch you're currently on. But you can revert the changes by clicking on this button right here. Anyway, with those changes applied, we could view the application in a browser to preview what it looks like. Okay, so I've opened up the dev tools so I can make this smaller and see what it looks like on smaller screens. And hopefully at some point we should see this mobile menu kick in, which we do. And if we click on that, then we see the links right here. Click it again and it goes away. Let's make this smaller to make sure it still works and looks okay. Yep, all looking all right. And if we click on a link, well then, yep, it still works. Awesome. Okay, so now I'm happy with the changes and I could go ahead and merge them into the main branch, which is what I'm going to do. But hopefully now you can see how the Codex extension and the Codex cloud can kind of work together a little bit. Now, honestly, I think the link between the two things is just a little bit rough around the edges at the moment. It could be smoother and it would be nice to have more of the cloud features displayed in the extension, such as opening a PR directly from the Codex panel. But like I said before, Codex as a whole product feels like it's very much still in the early stages and I would expect more features and improvements to be made in the future. Anyway, next up, we're going to see how to fire off parallel tasks using the Codex Cloud, which can all be working on the code at the same time. 